I am here visiting with Dustin and Jill. He is the winner of the 1D Futurity here in the second go round at Ruby Buckle Memphis. Dustin, this is a really neat mare. She's not only by the Great Stallion Front Street to Vegas, but the owner, Kimmy Nichols, knows this maternal line inside and out. Tell us more about that. She does. Um, Kimmy Nichols uh, raised this mare. She has raised the whole maternal line on her. Uh, this mare's uh, dam is actually a three-quarter sibling to um, fa uh, KN Famous Cesar that um, Kimmy has also raised and she stands. So um, being she's known the mare from the beginning, she knows the whole uh, breeding line on her. She's been able to help me all along breeder. I mean, a uh, train on her and stuff. Um, so we've been blessed with her and that line's been very successful for Kimmy. Tell me about this mare. How big is she? What's her personality like? What's she like to train on a day-to-day -day basis? So she's the mare. Uh, <laughs> that says enough, but she's a 14 one hand. She's not very big, a um, little over 900 pounds. There's not a whole bunch to her, but a whole lot of heart. Um, she's ton of heart, ton of grit. She never quits trying. Um, she just doesn't have a bad day and she always shows up for work. Um, so, uh, starting her and getting going, we were, I was a little concerned with her being small, but she definitely proves to the barrel racing industry in general that you don't have to be big to win. What does the future look like for this mare? Um, she has a very, very bright future, um, obviously. Um, hopefully she'll be a producer and she'll have some great babies. Um, I'm going to continue to futurity her and ride her and then um, hopefully Miss Kimmy will be able to ride her and enjoy her as well and um, do well on her, continue to compete on her and keep her in her broodmare band. Dustin, when you come to these events, we always see you. You have a trailer load of great horses with you. How are you transitioning from horse to horse and making sure that you're able to jockey them to the best of your ability and their ability? So all of my horses, um, pretty much, I know every horse is a little bit different, but I know each horse's personality and what they like and dislike. Um, I treat them just like speaking to humans. Um, you change according to them, for them, um, to make them feel comfortable. Um, and uh, I'm very consistent in my work every day and uh, with each horse. So whenever I get here, I keep my consistency and I feel like um, it shows in me and my horses as well. Um, and they don't change on me. They continue to do the same thing over and over so I know what to expect. Tell me about your mindset coming into these events. What's it like to run at this level of competition and with this, uh, you know, all of these great competitors that are here as well? I love it, and I love the event. Um, I think it, the financial part of it, it's amazing to be able to get some of this money back. Um, these barrel horses cost a lot of money, and uh, stallion owners have invested a lot of money um, into the program. So to be able to come run at things like this that pay this well, it's, it's a positive all around, especially for us trainers. It gives us a chance to win money and owners to make some money back. Um, Coming this week, I was uh, here this week, I was super excited. Um, I knew uh, I have a great load of horses in the trailer. Uh, they tend to take care of me. I have very good clients. Um, I always have a few for Kimmy, and um, I knew that coming to this, her mare had a very good shot. Uh, she's been consistent with me all year. Uh, we won a fraternity earlier this year, and she's placed at nearly every fraternity this year. Um, so I was very confident coming in this weekend and uh, very blessed for the outcome. Congratulations on a great futurity and thank you for coming. Thank you.